So I was in Baden in Switzerland with a castle behind the obelisk. And this is the main police station here. And what we see here, the sun hieroglyph all over. There and there and there. Here's some more sun hieroglyph. Still the main police station here. And this is their obelisk. The symbol of the pharaonic domination. Well, they are dominating, all right. Well, this is the police station, eh? In Baden, in Switzerland. So the B in the, uh, the coat of arms here, next to the police station. Because the B symbolizes Isis. And we have to work for the queen. The whole of Babylon, if you want. So, and this is still the police station here. And here in Baden, they have the octagon symbol at the front door. So this also means, if there's a war, don't... I mean, we're part of the gang. Don't destroy the house. Don't kill us like octagon. In octagon. So I have no doubt whatsoever in this mansion here, the Freemasons, they have their gatherings here. With the blessing of Isis, their goddess. It's the coat of arms of the Boveri house. Here's the Vesica Pices. And um, here's Isis. I think they did a lot of gun deals with uh, Nazi Germany, Boveri. That's Isis, yeah. Yeah, the Swiss Isis. I'm not sure if I'm allowed in here, but who cares? Sort of a stroll in the park, eh? Nice little house here. So, nobility, I suppose. And there are four statues. For each statue it says winter, summer, spring and autumn, fall. I think these guys here, they uh, collaborated with the Nazis and Hitler. I think um, the Ehrlichan factories, they, they have something to do with that. I'll look it up later. <sighs> nice little mansion here. The joining. I wonder nobody has come yet. So here it says Boveri, that is the Latin name or Italian for uh, a, a bull. It's still the B and the O in it, like B U for a bull. And um, so here is the bull. And the bull is uh, Apis in the Pharaonic language. And the, uh, the hieroglyph for Apis, the bull, is the, uh, the logo of the Citroën French cars. So these are real big. Huge pharaohs here, you know. Still pharaonic stuff in here. And this looks quite reptilian stuff here. The bull. Puppies. Have a shower. The villa in Baden I just showed you before belongs to the Walter Boveri family who first worked for Erlikon in Switzerland in Zurich, well known for selling guns and ammo to the Nazis in World War II and prolonging the war with two years. Rudolf Hess, who also studied at the ETH, the Technical University of Zurich, came to this villa many times, together with General Ulrich Wille. Therefore, it's not really a coincidence that this Swiss Brown Boveri company used slave workers from the Nazi concentration camps such as Buchenwald and Auschwitz as happened to this Italian woman called Clem Clement. Yeah, you can read it. If you, if you, if you punch in Clement and um, 
Well, all the other things here, and it pops out here, it says again, Brown Boveri. Uh, well, the story goes on and on and on and on. The Swiss got their dirty little fingers and everything. And nobody does a thing against it. Except the CIA, maybe. Oh, well, no, just a handful of people. Uh, just, just a few. This is the base of evil, folks. Octagon of the Templars. And the Nazis, they were the Templars. Well, you can find it yourself in the internet. Furthermore, proven by the fact that later on they merged with another company with a logo like this here. So these Swiss from Octogon with their multinational companies have their fingers in all crime against humanity prepared by the Swiss Nazi Templars. And it all goes together with big business. Armies together with big business. Geostrategical wars. So now th this is the name of the company now. SCR uh, BBC Brown Bavari company charming isn't it charming country eh oh charles let's do some skiing in this charming country so the europeans killing each other and this uh, this is the Scharn, the german battleship Scharnhorst from the second world war yeah so the europeans killing each other and the Swiss making guns and weapons so they can kill each other and making money. You see the propulsion? Three brown Bavari company geared steam turbine turbines. Yeah. They sank it when well, in 1943, I think. Yeah. Well, this is Switzerland. With their neutrality swindle. The engines by Swiss company, multinational, well, they're, they're all over. In America, in, in Sweden, in Germany, and but it is Swiss. This is Templar stuff. So this is a tank defense here from the Second World War. It's going, it's, it's all, all around Switzerland. The French-speaking Swiss, they call it Toblerone, like the chocolate. Uh, here they call it the uh, the field of the obelisks. Well, it's not an obelisk, of course. And here with the metal, the uh, the barbed wire was, of course, being attached. Now this is all over. As the Swiss, they financed Adolf Hitler. You know, they they knew there was something coming up to them. You know, so they were expecting something, a possibility. So this is all over here. It's about 30 k's from the German border. So and there's Baden. So it's a tank defense and you know with barbed wire and in German they call it Panzersperre. So oh, in Switzerland, of course, the ones who fin financed Adolf Hitler. Well, they look good after themselves, eh? So this Swiss tank defense is going all around Switzerland. Not exactly at the border, but you know, 30, like 20 miles. So and here's the Swiss bunker, just like, uh, uh, 40 yards from the uh, the tank defense, Second World War stuff. Ready to use again. So this here, all around Switzerland, these are the defense lines. I mean, they planned the whole thing. This is a map of Switzerland, like this. 
here's Germany, here's Italy, here's France. So they planned this whole thing from the beginning and they were prepared for ev everything. So I filmed this here in Baden, next, right next to the uh, Boveri uh, um, villa of Walter Boveri, Boveri who um, collaborated with the Nazis and also helped prolonging the Second World War and um, took concentration camp prisoners um, as slave labor for their Boveri um, industry producing um, turbines and engines for the Nazis. Nice country isn't it? They were prepared for everything and these defense lines were more like for you know stopping defenseless people you know refugees and all that it was not really for something else yeah and of course if, uh, uh, if something went wrong they had a, a plan b so this is the plan b but they uh, they calculated all that nothing could go wrong the whole second world war was planned by the Nazi Templars of Switzerland. They've got their dirty little fingers in, in every crime against humanity, against Europe, with their banks, with their multinational companies. This is their base, Octagon. <laughs> 